Okay, my professional drawing students, or half professional, I should say. The last couple of weeks, you learned your fundamentals. Now, it's time to get a professional workflow for your illustrations. If you want to participate at the champion title of the art event calendar and you haven't started your drawing, you can just follow along this and the next and the next video to have your drawing ready at the end of the 24th. Now, before I explain the first step in the professional professional workflow. I want to explain what the workflow is and why it's so popular. Workflow means you have a specific method in mind on how you want to tackle things and what order. In this particular example, we will use a typical workflow a professional illustrator or concept artist might have. The first step in making an illustration is something we in the industry call napkin sketches. You sketch some thumbnails in a way you could do when waiting for your food at a restaurant and you're drawing on the napkins. The premise is to get the idea out of your head onto the paper as fast as possible, but in a way that someone who has no idea what you were thinking about has a vague understanding of what is going on. One napkin sketch should take you around 5 to 10 minutes at the beginning. If you are already quite nimble with your pen, you might cut that time down as much as you want. Because in this phase, faster is better, as long as the quality of your napkin sketches doesn't suffer from it. As I said earlier, it is just to bring your ideas down on the paper so your head can think about other things. Our brains are pretty bad at being creative, while we already have to think about something that we don't want to forget. Not only do we get used to working fast, but we also get a huge boost in creativity by using this technique. I recommend you do at least four. More are always better, because the more options you have, the more creative you are. And maybe you want to fuse two kinds of napkin sketches together for your final illustration. However, don't stress yourself out if you can only do four. Creativity is something you can learn to use. Some people are better at it and some people are worse. But all people will improve in their creativity by just practicing it. For example, by doing napkin sketches. Now for the art vent, I would say 10 is the max limit. Not because I think you lack creativity, but because I think some people may overuse these napkin sketches and have no time at all to refine their sketch. Rule number one while doing a napkin sketch is that you do not go into detail. It's like gesture drawing. You should sketch fast and never look at the details, only the big form. If you're drawing digitally, that means don't zoom in. And on traditional media, draw small. For digital artists, I strongly recommend that you use a hard brush, since using a soft edged brush or even an airbrush for this will only result in a blurry mess. The thumbnails you see for traditional and digital media should only be a little bigger than than thumbnails you see on YouTube. It's also a good habit to be stepping away from your canvas for a bit, especially in this phase. Go make a coffee or a tea and come back. You will see your sketches in a different light. Now, as I explained earlier, we do these napkin sketches to get our minds into a good creative space by clearing ideas we have and making room for new ones. But that's not all. We also can take a look at our composition before we invest too much time into an illustration. When working in the industry and you have a pipeline, that is a lifesaver, since you don't need to draw for five hours just to be told to redo it with another pose because Dan from cleanup can't draw for shortened hands. I know you're watching this Dan, this is a threat. But anyway, you get the gist of it. Take a piece of paper and split it into small chunks. Also works on digital paper. And then all that is left is to let your creativity loose. This is all for today and tomorrow. Have fun and happy drawing.